Hey there friends, it's Kate and welcome back to my channel, Golden State Educate. So for today's video, I am filming Classroom Setup Part 3. If you haven't already watched Classroom Setup Part 1 and Part 2 and also my empty classroom tour, pause this video. Make sure you go check out those videos so that way you're all caught up. I am a second year, second grade teacher here in Northern California and I have been documenting my whole teaching journey. I was a first year kindergarten teacher last year at the same school and I have vlogs and classroom setups and everything from the whole last year if you wanna get caught up on my journey so far. And now I am moving on up I am going from kindergarten at this school to second grade at this school so I started out with a blank slate I filmed an empty classroom tour and then I have been working really hard on setting up my classroom for the last week or so I already have two setup videos that I'll have linked down below and I've just been tackling certain areas of my classroom as you can see this whole back area is done I did part of my front area and today I am moving on to my library so I am so excited last year we were pretty much just learning the whole year. We finally went hybrid for the last two months of school and we were not allowed to have classroom libraries or like the kids weren't allowed to use them. I absolutely love reading. It's one of my favorite things to do as a teacher and one of my favorite things to do just as a person. I absolutely love thrifting for books and collecting books so I have a gigantic library so far and I was just really sad that I couldn't fully set it up in the way that I wanted to last year. So as far as I know, we are good to go for this year in terms of the library. I don't know if there's going to be certain rules in terms of book quarantine, but we haven't been told that we can't have one. So I'm going to make my dream library hopefully come to life in today's video. So I will show you the area that I am tackling. I have some building to do. I have some organizing to do. Um, so yeah, if you aren't already, please make sure to hit the red button down below and subscribe to my channel. Like this video if you like it and leave a comment down below how many more days or how many more weeks left of school you have. I can't wait to find out. We have, I think, 10 days left or nine days left, um, but pretty much at this point, like I'm spending all of my days in my classroom prepping, preparing, and getting ready for kiddos. So let me show you what we're doing for today. This whole section is going to be my classroom library. Um, if you didn't already see my empty classroom tour, very upset about the fire extinguisher that's in the middle of my library. Um, all of these boxes, I have about five boxes and several bags and then even more boxes over there that are just of books. I'm going to build these two bookshelves. They are the exact same bookshelf as this one. Um, and then I'm going to build those and then start organizing my books um, and just see how that goes. friends so I built both of the bookshelves now I have three tall bookshelves one short one and then my book display over here so now I'm just kind of trying to figure out the layout for this area what I want to do where I want like how I want the configuration to be so I have had a couple ideas in my head but I'm not exactly sure if they'll work or not so I'm just going to move it around and see what I like I don't want to stay here no gonna keep it low now if you want to go let's go let's wrap it up and hit the road i just got an awesome vibe striking the wind of hopes now liberty's on my mind we've taken off we've left the ground you you gotta understand that we get one chance one chance you goodness I'm very excited about this so far I'm liking it I think this is gonna work um and then this is perfect too because if I put my tapestry like right here I can still access the fire hydrant or fire extinguisher and nothing is like actually blocking it um so I have all these yellow ones from Hobby Lobby. I can no longer find them. So this is as many as I have. I actually do have that one. It's just at home because I was using it for like scaling for size. And then I just ordered a bunch more of these blue ones. So I'll probably do all of my series books in the yellow bins and then I'll have blue ones that will probably go um, 
right here for picture books and then I actually might do these bottom ones with picture books as well. I also have these two white bins that fit pretty nicely in there so I might try to make that work. I just ordered a six pack of these so um, I should be able to fit three right here and then I'll probably have to get another pack actually but that's not too bad. Um, I'm liking the way this is coming together and then I just need to measure the one concern is that I want to put my Chromebook cart right here instead of having it over there so I just want to measure and see if it will fit in this space because um, all of this stuff is gonna get moved okay so the best news is that the cart does fit over here so and I even have like some room for it so that's awesome I'm thrilled about that, that this will just be better in order in terms of like kids going to get their Chromebooks. They have a little bit more space. The highlight of my library is going to be this beautiful tapestry that says it's a beautiful day to learn something new. And I got this from Tip in the Middle. She has an Instagram. I follow her on Instagram. And she also has an Etsy store that she opens like um only for like a little bit every single year i think she only does it a few times but i managed to get my hands on this tapestry and if you can see it's like some of the colors that i am using in my classroom so i'm going to try to figure out where to hang this up i'm kind of thinking i could make it just like a super cute cozy corner if i put it in this corner spot and i can still reach the fire extinguisher so hopefully that's okay like I'm like trying to hide something. <laughs> I feel like it kind of does. <laughs> Sleeping in the back of a van, roaming in the wilderness. We don't ever need a plan. We'll be all right, just you and I. I think it looks pretty good. Um, yeah, I actually kind of like it. I could even move it down just slightly, but I don't know if I really need to. I think this will actually work. There's honestly just like a little bit of space behind it, which if you really think about it, that's kind of weird, like all that space up there. But I also think it's kind of making it like a cozy little nook, sort of. Um, and then I'll probably have my bedazzled read letters right here and then like an anchor chart about like how to choose the right book or something. Okay, my friends, this is taking forever. It's not even kind of done. So I'm trying to start sorting my books. Some of them I like already knew what I wanted. So these are all of my elephant and piggies that are hard covers. And then these are also like Mo Willems. So some soft color cover elephant and piggies and then uh, pigeon and then some other Mo Willems ones. So I'm pretty much just kind of trying to sort all of the series books. And then as I'm sorting through the series books, I'm kind of figuring out what I wanna do for my picture books. So right now I have biographies, autobiographies and biographies, and then animals, and then science, space, nature, ocean, <laughs> like nonfiction books. Um, so yeah, like some books I have enough to make their own category. Some I might need to double up the category and just put like, you know, so A to Z Mysteries and um, Bailey's School Kids are both mystery. So I might just do A to Z Mystery and Bailey's School Kids in the same bucket. But this is quite the project, my friends. I had a feeling it would be um, because I didn't have access to any of my books over the summer except for all the books that I bought. But then now I have like a mess of all the books that I had before and all the books that I bought. Um, and they're just kind of like all mixed up. And I didn't realize like quite how many picture books I have. So my original plan for organizing them was just kind of like by category, but there's just so many that are fiction. Um, so I'll have to figure out what to do about that. And I definitely, definitely need more of these blue book bins. So I have six here. I have six at home that just got delivered. And then I honestly probably need to get like between six or 12 more of them.
Okay, progress has been made. I pretty much sorted all of my like multiple kind of series books. So I have Junie B. Jones, Ivy and Bean, and Katie Kazoo, Henry and Mudge, and Frog and Toad, Stink, and Judy Moody, Fly Guy, My Weird School, all Dr. Seuss books, Pinkalicious and Fancy Nancy, A to Z Mysteries, and what's back here? Oh, Bailey School Kids, Horrible Harry, Rainbow Magic, uh, these fairy books and also Owl Diaries books are in here. And then I have Cam Jansen and Flat Stanley. This is the Bad Guys series. I really like these graphic novels. I, I really want to get more. So I'm giving it its own bucket, even though there's not that many because I do plan on using a gift card that I have to get more of these. I have all of my <laughs> uh, Elephant and Piggy books, all of my Mo Willems. Down here is Geronimo Stilton, and then right here is Magic Treehouse, literally the whole entire collection of Magic Treehouse. Um, and then I have one more bucket at home, that the yellow one that's gonna go right here. This is probably not actually where all these um, yellow ones will stay, but this is just kind of how I organized it. Down here, I started Fairy Tales. Um, right here I have Animals, and then I have Autobiographies and Biographies, Nature, seasons, space, <laughs> oceans, and then I started another bucket. So that's just kind of what I have going on over here. And then I started finding all of my seasonal books. So there's like Halloween, Hanukkah, um, Thanksgiving, Christmas, all of the holiday books. This whole stack is ones that I wanna organize into um, like books that I read to the kids. So I'm gonna keep all of my like um, anchor text books and um, like books that I use for teaching and like books that I love and I make sure I want to know where they are because like if something comes up and I want to do a lesson I don't want to have to search for the book in my library so I saw Lolo Loves Learning on Instagram I love how she organizes her books and she was also talking about how she has like a whole section of mentor text that she keeps um, like in her teacher area and then after she reads some of the books she'll keep them in her library for like a certain amount of time time and then she'll take them back. So I want the kids to be able to read these books on their own, but I also want to be able to know where they are. So that, I think that's the only way to make it the most manageable for me. So I've been starting to find some of those and I'll figure out how I want to organize these. And then I have these two giant white bins down here. And I think those are going to be all of my fiction picture books because I, after a while, it's just like some are about animals, some are about people, some are, you know, this, that, and the other thing, but they're all fiction. So I'll probably just put them all in there uh, just to make it like the most uniform. progress that I made today. Um, I have plans for two bulletin boards that are going to go up there. I'm going to hang my read letters tomorrow. I am going to go home tonight and make all the labels for my book bins. I'm going to get more of the blue ones so I can organize other books tomorrow. But this is just what it looks like. A lot of these are books that I'll be reading like the first week or the first two weeks, so I just set them up. I might change it still, but that's just the book display for now. All of these are my mentor texts, so I'm gonna have to figure out how I wanna organize those. I have my series books, and then these are my holiday books that I'll have to organize. I started organizing the fiction books for the kiddos. And I'm obsessed with the tapestry. It looks so good. And then more series books, more books that I've organized, but I just don't have bins for them yet. And then 
here it is. So tomorrow I have bulletin boards, more more organization, and then just the finishing finishing touches on my library. And then I'm also going to hang my tech bulletin board tomorrow as well. So here we are. So for some reason, these took a really long time. I think it's because all my other bulletin boards, I lined up like on the cracks, um, but these ones I didn't. So it took me a long time to make sure that they were like straight and like perfectly underneath the bulletin board and everything. So here we go, here are these. Um, this one I'm pretty sure is going to be our poster of how to choose a good book. And then this slightly smaller one is going to be books that we've read. So I'm going to get the title books we've read and then I'm gonna do more twine um, just like I did over here. And then over here as we read um, whole books as a class or like all the ones that I read to them, we will be able to put little pictures of all the books that we've read throughout the year. So I really like that. And this is how it's looking so far. It's looking pretty cute. Okay, friends, so I just made all of these labels really quick on PowerPoint. Um, so they all pretty much match. And then I'm gonna put these on all of these book bins. And I already opened them, but I just wanted to show you. I'm just using these adhesive square pockets. Um, they're just $3 in the Target dollar spot. They're awesome. I bought like literally like six packs of these last year um, and then never used them really for anything. So I have like a ton left over, but I'm pretty sure they have them in the Target dollar spot every year. So, and they might still have them right now. So these are awesome. Also like the exact same dimensions as a book bin. So they end up turning out really cute. So here we go. I, since I last spoke to you, I hung up the books we've read and our tech letters. I made all of these labels on PowerPoint for all of my series books and all of my picture books. I just like uh, laminated them and then hole punched them and then attached them with zip ties and then cut the zip tie back here. So they turned out really nice super easy to read. I'm loving them so far. It looks really good. And then I'm still working on this bin, not a huge priority, but I'm working on it. So this is what we have. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it turns out three by five is really small really 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 small definitely will be returning that um i know that they're sold out of the next size until like october so we probably just won't have a rug or <laughs> i'll have to think of something else it's actually hilarious how small this is oh my gosh Okay, so no rug in this in this video. Um, and then the last couple things are I still need to make the labels for my library cart and also clean the library cart because it used to be my recess cart. Um, but it's just gonna be like two levels of returns and then a label, a level of like, if the book is damaged and I need to fix it, that'll be like the book hospital. Um, and then I have a couple of pictures and frames that I'm going to print out and like, put along the tops of these shelves, like two or three of them, but I don't have my color printer and um, that's just like not super important. So that will be here and I'll show you guys an update on Instagram when those are up. So make sure to follow me there. So just a quick overview. I haven't cleaned everything up yet and not everything is out, but we have this whole section, beautiful library area, which was which is just so stunning. This corner is just my all-time favorite thing. And then over to our class as a family. Yes, the ladder is still there. No, I haven't done my affirmation station. So next video will be affirmation station, my whole student center, and also my teacher work area.
All right, my friends, so that's gonna be it for today's video. This is classroom setup part three, or days, I think, four and five, or days three and four. I don't remember at this point. <laughs> it's been a while. But yeah, this is my classroom library. I am so, so excited with how it turned out. I feel like the vision that I had in my head really did come to life, obviously minus the carpet situation, but for the most part, everything else has turned out exactly how I want. The colors make me so happy. This tapestry is like the prettiest thing and I love that like it's the first thing you see when you walk into my room. So really, really happy with how this space turned out. I can't wait for my kiddos to use it and utilize it. Um, and just get to read all these books. And I know that so many of the books that I've picked out from the thrift store or books that you guys have donated to me from my classroom wish list um, are just going to be some of my students' all time favorite books. And I can't wait to read them to them. And I can't wait for them to pick out books and read them to themselves and to their friends. So I think this is just gonna be a really happy little corner of my classroom. And I'm super, super, super excited <laughs> with how it turned out. So make sure to follow me on Instagram if you you aren't already it's just golden state educate i'll continue to have like updates as i start posting things on the walls and add some more little pieces of decor to this library and of course when my rug comes you guys will be the first to know over there as well if you haven't already please make sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video if you liked it the more you like and engage with this video the more that it grows the golden state educate family because youtube will be able to recommend this video to others so it's super important that you do that i love getting to interact with you guys all in the comments and i'm just so happy to have all of you here stay tuned for classroom setup part four that i'm probably going to start filming tomorrow we've had all day professional development training last three days so I haven't gotten to do quite as much so that's why it's taken me like a little bit longer to get things done but my next video is going to be my whole student center and my teacher area so that will be a really good one and then I'll probably have to have a part five just for all the little miscellaneous things the last few things I'm adding to my front board the last few things I'm adding to my small group center space um, what I'm gonna do with my carpet area. So there's still quite a bit of classroom setup videos to come. If you haven't already checked out part one and part two, I'll have those linked down below. And I hope you guys have a good one. I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.